Let there be light. Magnific Relight, that is. Magnific AI, which was recently acquired by Freepik, just released a new fascinating update. It's called Relight. What Relight does is transform the lighting of a scene using a prompt, a reference image, or a light map. For example, check out some of my most recent images. Okay, so first notice the original image. And then here is my relight one. And then this one. And then this one. And then last one, we have this image, but now my relight image. And this was all done by just simply providing one prompt or uploading a reference image. The possibilities are almost endless. So to start, let's first head over to Magnific AI so I can first show you some amazing examples and what these amazing new features can do. So from my dashboard, you can already see some of my most recent creations. I first started with this Pikachu right here, and now with just a simple command or a simple reference image, it automatically gave me a completely different background. How about this one? This Mario right here is the original image and now I have him underwater. Amazing. And then this Nike shoe right here, here is the original image. This is in fact one of my favorites. Now look at that right there. Amazing job. But we're first going to start with this exact image right here. Check the links in the description for the most amazing prompts databases. Here's an image from Doom specifically and I was able to transform it completely into this image. Even notice the color of her eyes, how it changes by the way I entered in my specific prompt. And then we have this one right here. Again, this is going to be the original image. And now here is the new one. So I'm first going to show you two ways to do this. The first couple of examples, I'll show you how you can do this by just simply entering a prompt. But then we're going to take things to the next level. Then I'll show you how you can do it with the reference image. And then that is where the results are going to get even more impressive. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's start. Here is my original image right here. And I did a Google image search for Dune. I downloaded this from the internet. So the first thing we're gonna do is over here on the left-hand side, make sure you have Relight selected. You can see it's in beta, but now it's selected over here on the top left-hand corner. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and then upload our input image. And for this case, it's gonna be that image I just showed you. So I'm clicking and dragging it across my screen and I'll simply just drop it right here into this box. Now you can see input image is now in here and there is the image I got from Google Images. So the next thing we'll do, again, we'll start with the most simple way to do this. Now on the left-hand side, we have options we could choose from. It says transfer light from. If I open up this box, here are my three selections, just the prompt, reference image, and then light map. For today, I'm only gonna show you the first two examples from a prompt and then with a reference image. I think light map is a great tool, but that's going to contain a lot more details. So I think I'll save that for another video. However, I think you will be blown away by what these first two options can do. Now, underneath this is going to have your prompt box. Just type in anything that you want. So for example, in my first image, as I scroll down, I was able to get this completely different background by simply just typing in a futuristic, dystopian, cyberpunk sort of image, okay? We're gonna do something very similar. So in this case, what I'll do is over here in my prompt, I'm gonna type in the character's name, and then I'll type in the exact sort of scene I want. So here we go. Okay, now again, over on the left-hand side, this is all I put in. I just put Zendaya in a futuristic world like Blade Runner. But as I scroll down, we're going to have our light transfer strength. It defaults to 75. Leave it on here for now. One important thing you want to have is make sure you have changed background that this is toggled on. That's going to allow a completely different style background to then appear. Okay. And then as I scroll down again, we have our different styles. Right now, I'll leave it on standard. But another option that's going to be very important is going to be this contrasted and HDR. This is going to work specifically well for the images you see on your screen right now of these architecture designs. But for now, we're going to leave it on standard. And then advanced settings, again, we'll leave it on everything standard for now. But in the future, depending on what sort of image that you're trying to create, it might be important to change up the engine. I like to use Real or Illusio. So this one right here is going to be great for when you're trying to transform an illustration to more of a animated or a Pixar style of image. And then Real, of course, is going to be exactly what it sounds. It's going to provide more of a photorealistic 
simplistic sort of new image. Let's leave automatic for now. Everything else we'll leave for now. I got my prompt and my image. Now let's go ahead and then select relight. Now let's do one more thing while this is thinking. We're going to leave this Zendaya in here, but let's do one more and completely change up the prompt. So for the next one, I'll leave everything the same, but let's just transform her movie setting. Instead of being in Dune, we're going to say in the movie Hunger Games, completely different setting. Let's just see how this turns out. Now our first Zendaya does look like it's already done generating. You could see it populated as I was typing in my prompt. That's how fast this actually works. So again, here is the before, and now look at that. There is the after. That's going to be my Blade Runner setting right there. Amazing job. Everything is fantastic. Now, the key thing to keep in mind is once I take things to the next level, what I mean is if you find an image you like, combine it, upscale that image four or eight X times, you're going to get some amazing results. All right, so I'm still on my first image. I like this one. So now I'll go ahead and then download this image. I'll do PNG 100% quality. After it's downloaded, we're going to come back and then we're going to upscale it and you're going to see a completely new image that's going to be 10 times better. But now let's go ahead and scroll up and see how she turned out in the movie The Hunger Games. Again, there is the before and then there is the after. Amazing job. If I like this one, let's download this one. And I think we'll go ahead and upscale this one very quickly. So on the left hand side, let's go up to Magnific Upscaler. And I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this image in here now simply by just dragging it over here into this box. Let's go to 8x. Okay, optimize for we have standard or portraits. Let's go ahead and then select film and photography because that's exactly what this is and what we're going to say is again in my prompt I said Zendaya in the movie The Hunger Games go ahead and upscale this one once this is done we're going to come back and check out these final results as well okay so now for this next one let's just try this one more time using a different style of image we're going to use a prompt to generate the new background and then after this one we'll take things to the next level with an image reference but for this one let's first head over to my Leonardo AI mega prompts database if you don't have access to this database, I'll include a link in my description. That way you can get access to it as well. All right, so here we are. Here's the first one. This is going to be my Leonardo Mega Prompts database. And now I already know the image I want to create. It's going to be this one right here of Pikachu. Okay. So if I like any of these, let me go ahead and open up and expand them. I'll go to this other one over here. If I like any of these images, all I have to do is open it up and now hit this blue download button just like that. And now I can use this image to use as my upload image in Magnific AI. Okay, so here we are back in Magnific AI and you can see my upscaling is still thinking that's okay. I did do it 8x, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But what I love about this new update is the relight update really is completed in about 15 to 30 seconds max. But regardless, while this one thinks, it doesn't mean we can't stop our work. So now on the left-hand side, I'll go back to relight. As soon as we see this image done uploading, we'll go ahead and check it out. But for now, let's move on to our next one. So I mentioned before, I want to use this new Pikachu one. So again, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to bring my image and now drag it into this input image box right here. Okay. Once it's in here, now let's do this again. We're going to add in a different sort of a prompt. Let's delete this original one that was in here for uh, Zendaya. And now what I'll say is Pikachu and let's use something completely different. We'll say Pikachu in an underwater city like the lost city of Atlantis. Let's go ahead and see how this turns out. Let's go ahead and go with real and I will also select up here at the top style we're going to select contrasted and HDR we'll do the same exact image and then just just to see if we could determine if there actually is a difference okay but while these are all thinking we're going to go to my second database I have my mega prompts database which has close to 5,000 prompts now and once we're in here I want to do something completely different so I'm in my animated Pixar section right here and now let's go ahead and take um, an image I want to look for I know I want to do another one. Let's do the same one for Mario. And if I click to expand it, here is the image I want to use again. Okay. I have a few different ones to select. This one looks cool. So I'll go ahead and then download this one. And then we'll go back in the Magnific AI and then try this Mario one. But before we do notice this, it looks like my images are done. At least two of them are. And let's look at
look at this upscaled version of Zendaya right here. Okay, so here is the before, and now here is the after. Amazing attention to detail. Now let's scroll up. Let's look at our first Pikachu one. There is my original image. Now look at that. That is fantastic. And then we also have this one right here. Here is the first one. Okay, underwater city like Atlantis. And then again, the one I did earlier today, same exact image. I said tropical beach. I think this is going to be my favorite option right here. Again, original image. And now with my new prompt, tropical beach, look how amazing this turned out. Let's now start the process of generating these images using a reference image. This is my personal favorite. It's going to produce some amazing looking results. Okay, but first let's come in here and then look at what it did with Mario. Again, there is the original. And then look at that one right there before and after. I mean, this is fantastic. Amazing job. Again, let's do it one more time. And this time I'll say just something very simple. I'm going to say Mario in a bathroom. And while this is thinking, let's start the process of an image reference. Over here on the left-hand side, now all we have to do is on the left where it says transfer light from, just change it from just a prompt to now a reference image. And now you're going to have two input images up here. The first one is going to be the original input image. Then the second one is going to be the image you're using as a reference point. Now, watch this. I'm back over here in my Mega Prompts database. Now, this one is my Leonardo one, and I just simply typed in Nike shoe. I have some very amazing images that look just like this for Nike shoes. This is the one we're going to start with. But before we do, it looks like this other Mario one is done. And now look at that. This is amazing. Look, there he is, the original Mario in the grass and now he is in the bathroom. The details of the bathroom is fantastic. So back to image reference. Now, what I'll do now is take this shoe, click and drag it to replace Mario. Now I have a new input image. Now, since I'm referencing an image, let's change the game up a little bit. Let's put this Nike shoe, here it is right here on your screen, in a completely different setting. And now for that, I'll head back over to my database right here, and let's look at some fascinating images. Immediately, I see one that might look pretty cool. Look at this interstellar style of an image, okay? I'll scroll through a few more of these. Let me go ahead on the left-hand side and then select cinematic gallery to really hone in on some cinematic style of images and prompts. Now here's a cool one of a dystopian world. I think this does look pretty cool. In fact, that's the one I used earlier, so we won't use that again. I'm looking for something completely different. All right, now let's just go ahead and stick to this one right here. I like this astronaut in this wide angle cinematic interstellar world. I went ahead and downloaded it, so we'll use this one to start for our reference image. Okay, so back over here in Magnific. So now I'm clicking and I'm dragging it. Here it is. And now put this in your upload for reference image. And now just type in a simple prompt. And I just said in an interstellar cinematic environment, okay? Let's go ahead and now select Relight on this one. And then again, while this is thinking, I want to show you one for a scenic view. I just typed in the word living room and then automatically I get some pretty cool images like this. Let's go ahead and download this one, okay? A scenic modern living room. But for my reference image, I wanna use up something completely different. So check this out. For my reference image, I'm gonna scroll down and I have an image already off the top of my head that I know I wanna use. So here is the image right here. Before we look at the Nike shoe, this will be the next image we use for reference image to see if we can get a completely different look and redesign of that modern home. So I'll first X this out Let's go ahead and take a look at this Nike shoe. Remember, we used the interstellar image. Here is the original, and now there is the other one. Man, this is fantastic. Look how amazing this turned out. Perfect job. Now, let's go back to our modern home that we want to generate. So I'll go ahead and replace my reference image by clicking and dragging that gradient image right there of the beach. But I also need to replace the input image. And remember, I'm going to replace it with this image right here just to see how good of a job it can do. There it is in my input image. Now let's just remove the Nike prompt. And I'll just say modern home and then gradient and galaxy. Let's just see what this can do for us. Hit relight. And now there is that new one. Man, that is amazing. Look at this right here. This might be my new favorite. Phenomenal job. Let's go ahead and select download on this one. Perfect. Okay, so last but not least, I want to show you what I want to do. Let's take an image like this one that you see on your screen right here, and even this one. Okay, we have two images right here, 3D rendered, pretty cool looking. Let's take these two and then really bring these to life with some different styles and settings. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is again, let's replace these images. I'm going to bring it in here as my input image. There's my input. And now for my upload image, 
let's leave this in here of this gradient galaxy one and let's do the same exact thing okay i'm gonna bring in this image right here you could see just boring white background i'm gonna click and drag it and then there it is and now for our upload reference let's just do something completely different yet again now for this one i'm gonna head back over here to my leonardo database because i want to bring this home to life in a more electric city style of an environment now check out these images right here you could tell these are going to be vibrant looking cities let's just go ahead and then download this one and then i can also download this image right here okay sunset new york city let's try both of these so now that we're back in magnific ai remember the image we're using is just a very generic and boring and bland image like this let's first start by using this sunset new york city skyline new york city okay modern home sunset new york city now as i scroll down i'm gonna bring my light transfer strength all the way to a 90 okay and then from here I'm going to select my style to now contrast it in HDR, scroll down for one more setting, and change my engine to real. Let's go ahead and now select Relight on this one. While this is thinking, we'll do the same thing, but now use a completely different image right here. So instead of Modern Home Sunset New York City, we're going to say Modern Home Vibrant City Lights Tokyo, okay? Just like that. Let's go ahead and then do relight on this one. Now, it looks like this one's already done. While this one's thinking, let's check out the before and after. Before, after. Okay, that's an amazing job. I went from a boring, just plain white background 3D render to now I actually brought this home to life. And this other one's done as well. Remember, cityscape, nighttime, Tokyo style city lights. Look how amazing this did, okay? Amazing. Remember, I started with just a very boring, bland white background, architecture design, 3D render. Now I actually brought my home to life. So there you have it, another explosive AI update. Magnificent ai relight let me know what you guys think but thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out until then we'll see you next time